Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Honest Homemaking. And this week we are finally getting down to the scrubbing, nitty gritty cleaning of the kitchen. So as you can see by a small miracle, my kitchen is still clean. I have some dishes to put away and of course the stove needs cleaned because that's that's real life right there but it is mostly clean which means we can actually clean clean oh let's check my list let's see we still have a lot to do cabinet doors counters your drum yeah So I'm just using the Mrs. Myers dish soap. I realized that I've kind of jumped on more of a natural cleaning bandwagon. And it's not that I hate chemicals, but as you see here, my little boy, he's two, his name is Leo. He loves to help me clean. And if he can do this and it keeps him entertained while I'm cleaning and it's not harmful to him, then why not? It's about the same price as regular cleaners and this way it just, I don't have to worry about him sticking his fingers in his mouth or, you know, something hurting him. I haven't cleaned these cabinet doors since I stained them. Um, I'll see if I, you can find a before and after picture on Instagram of what our kitchen looks like. I've never done a video on it, but it really is amazing how far a little gel stain and some paint can go. Look at that baby bump. We are almost halfway. I was 19 weeks at the time. I also painted these countertops myself. They were that fake looking wood laminate. Um, again, you can find a picture on my Instagram. If you're wondering how I painted them, it's pretty simple. It's a layer of primer, then you just dab on the colors you want and then put polyurethane over that. It was really that simple. What I'm putting in the microwave here is just vinegar and water. I've seen this trick all over social media, but I've never tried it myself. And I can tell you now, it worked amazingly. Um, you just heat the vinegar and water for three minutes, let it cool some, and then everything just really does wipe 
right off of your microwave, even if it's as filthy as mine was. Oh, that was my middle baby. That was Zachary Allen. He was so cute in that picture. Again, we have a lot of counter space, but I feel like maybe there's so much, maybe I keep too much stuff out on the counter, and so it seems like I have less space. about to deep clean our dishwasher here. It's amazing to me how much stuff grows on the sides. Like if you looked closely before I wiped it there, you could see that it was like brown and kind of hairy. It was really disgusting. I guess it's just food that we drop and spill. a lot of our problem in the refrigerator is just poor organization stuff just gets stuck everywhere so if you have some fridge organization tips for me leave them in the comments below because as you can see I need them I, I know that some people use Dollar Tree containers so I may go see if I can find some uh, but just let me know what works for you because I need some help
have no idea what this was spilled under this drawer, but it was the stickiest mess that I've ever seen in my life. I had to scrape it off with a butter knife. So for the oven, I did the same thing that I did with the microwave. I just put that pan of water and vinegar in there. I turned it on, I think 350 for 30 minutes and then turned it off, let it cool down so that I could use it enough and I wiped it out. As you'll see, some of the burnt on black stuff in the bottom does not come out, but my oven is much cleaner than it was and you know, progress not perfection. In the top of my stove, I have a, a beautiful brand new, it's not brand new, it's actually like four years old, but I feel like it's brand new, um, gas range. And for some reason there is stuff, and it's probably because I didn't clean it when it needed to be cleaned and then things got cooked on and baked on, but there is a hard film on top of the stove that I just can't get off. So again, I need your help. If you have any suggestions, leave your comments. I have tried the vinegar and baking soda and that did not work for me. It did not come off. I let it soak overnight and it still was there. So I need something else. my friends uh, so it's Friday yay uh, I wanted to have this video of spring cleaning the kitchen right because I did decluttering last week and this week I was scrubbing I wanted to have it done today and uploaded today oh but uh, well it's Friday morning and I'm still doing the cleaning I haven't even begun the editing it break don't break it Anyway, so I wanted to show you this up here real quick. So, our shot glass collection started with this little Smoky Mountain, Tennessee shot glass. Chris and I bought it together, um, and it just kind of spurred on a gigantic shot glass collection this is probably a fourth of them and this is what it looks like up here because it's above the stove right so it gets that greasy stove coating on it so I'm gonna just take them all down and put them in hot soapy water and then start scrubbing this stuff off because it's just uh, so gross <laughs> As I said, this is our little shot glass collection. Um, we have a lot more that are stored away, but um, let's see if you can spot some of the ones that we have. I've had a couple people comment on them, so it was interesting to see, because you know, we have shot glasses from all over that we've collected as we've traveled. So it's neat to see people really recognize the ones from, you know, maybe their state.
People always ask me what was in the spray can. That is just a window cleaner. I like to do that last because it really gives my sink a nice shine. So I'm not gonna lie, we had green birthday cake frosting still stuck on the trash can from Leo's birthday, which was in December. So that's real life for you. I ran out of my stainless cleaner, so I ended up just wiping this with multi-purpose cleaner. No, it did not work as well, uh, but you know, it did get it clean, so that's something. Of course is my middle son Zach's puppy. I've mentioned before, he, he goes where Zach goes. Um, Zach goes to his biological dad's on the weekend, so Zach, he goes with him there. When he is with me, the, the puppy is with us as well. His name is Jack. We have Zach and Jack. There's Zach. He's getting his puppy, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm still using my Swiffer Steam Mop. I've actually had it for about five years. There are like little plastic pieces kind of coming off of it, but it still works wonders. It is amazing. I will have these until they either stop making them or I die. Okay, you guys, we are finally, finally finished. It is Friday. It, this has taken me the longest of any spring cleaning that I've done. But it's our kitchen, which is, you know, the most used. Lee's very excited. He's watching the Emoji Movie. It is the most used room in our house. Um, everything is nice and neat and clean. We have gone through every cabinet. We have cleaned every surface in this kitchen. So I really hope that it inspired you. I hope that it's going to help you get motivated no matter how messy things get. You guys have seen it. Here's a good example. Everything has been piled over here. While I've been doing the spring cleaning in the rest of the house, Everything here has a home, it just hasn't been put in its home. So no matter how messy your house is, no matter how cluttered, no matter how dirty, it can be cleaned. And you will feel so much better when you do it. Because you guys, I cannot tell you how accomplished that I feel to have this clean. I have worked so hard for this and now I just want to enjoy it. I have laid out my my spring towels. Um, I got this at Target and it just feels so fitting right now because everything is clean <laughs> and it is just, it's, I don't know, it's a wonderful feeling. I, I'm not usually a big spring cleaner, but this year I decided maybe it's a pregnancy thing, maybe I'm nesting. I am in my second trimester, I am in my fifth month of pregnancy, so Maybe that's why. I don't know. I look rough. I look like I've been cleaning all week and barely sleeping, and that's because I have. But boy, it's worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. I still have a few more things that I need to clean. So, of course, I'm going to share it with you guys and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it would mean a whole lot to me. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.